Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to study how to draw pressure volume and temperature entropy diagram for the bell Coleman cycle. And this is also known as the reverse Breton or Joule cycle. So let us first understand what is the characteristics for this bell Coleman cycle. So this is the modified form of the reverse Carnot cycle and in this cycle air is used as a working medium. So we are going to understand the four processes with the help of this diagram. So in this diagram there is the compressor, cooler, expander and refrigerator. So within these four equipments the four processes are taking place. So what are those four processes? So process first that is the isentropic compression process. Then constant pressure cooling isentropic expansion process and constant pressure expansion so these are the four processes and for these four processes we will understand how to draw pressure volume and temperature entropy diagram so there is a relation in between pressure volume temperature and entropy so with the help of those relations we will draw the diagrams so let us first consider initially that at point 1, P1, V1, T1 be the pressure, volume and temperature of air respectively. Now we will move for the first process. So what is the first process? Isentropic compression process. Now this compression process is taking place in the compressor. So we will say that this is the process 1 to 2. So before compressor we have to say here the point 1 and after compression that is air that is coming out of compressor after the compression process we will say here the point 2. So this is the process known as 1 to 2 that is the isentropic compression process. So what is happening in this compression process? Compression means when the air is getting compressed. Pressure is getting increased. So I will write here for these processes. Pressure is getting increased. So as the pressure is getting increased. What is its effect on temperature and volume? So we know that as pressure is getting increased. Temperature will also getting increased. And at the same time the volume will be getting decreased. And here. Isentropic process that means entropy remains constant. So here on the horizontal line there is the entropy. So we have to draw here the straight vertical line for the isentropic process. So we will first draw the temperature entropy diagram. So how to draw. So here the temperature is getting increased. That means point 2 will have the more temperature than this point 1. And for this process entropy will remain constant. So for the constant entropy we have to show a straight vertical line. So I will draw here a vertical line and point 1 will be here and point 2 is having the more temperature than the point 1. So this is the process 1 to 2. Now we will show here the pressure volume diagram. So how to show this? So pressure increases, volume decreases. So suppose here will be the point 1. Then we have to show the more pressure than this point 1. And we have to show the less volume than this point 1. So I will select here the point 2 and we will join this. So if we observe this point 2 is having more pressure than this point 1 and volume will be less than this point 1. In the process 1 to 2 entropy remains constant that means there is no any heat absorbed and no heat rejected in this process. Now we will move for the next process. So what is the next process? Constant pressure cooling. So for this constant pressure cooling that means here at the increased pressure and temperature the warm air is entering into this cooler and here the constant pressure cooling process is taking place. So we will say that the after this point 2 there is the cooling process and after cooler we will say 
there is the point 3 so we will say that this is the process 2 to 3 and this process is constant pressure cooling so if we observe this cooler here is the cold water entering into this cooler and here the warm water is leaving the cooler so here the cooling process is taking place at the constant pressure so now we will study what is the effect of this pressure volume temperature entropy so here the pressure remains constant and the cooling process is taking place so what is happening in the cooling process cooling process means temperature is getting decreased so now we will study the effect so when i will write here here temperature is getting decreased because of cooling so what is happening so when the temperature is getting decreased pressure is also getting decreased and at the same time volume is getting increased but what is the condition here here the condition is that pressure remains constant so at the constant pressure when the temperature is getting decreased here we have to show volume also getting decreased because the pressure is constant so this is the condition for the constant pressure and for the cooling process that means heat is getting rejected and that's why what is the effect of entropy for this process cooling process that is the entropy is getting decreased because we know that when the heat is getting rejected entropy decreases and heat is getting absorbed the entropy is getting increased so we have to show the entropy is getting decreased and pressure will remain constant so this we have to show in pressure volume and temperature entropy diagram so how to show so we will first draw the temperature entropy diagram so we have to show temperature decrease in temperature that means point 3 we should be at the lower temperature than this point 2 and for the entropy also we have to show the entropy is also getting decreased so here i will select this point 3 So here will be the point 3 and we have to show the arrow. So if we observe this point 3 is having lower temperature than this point 2 and the entropy is also less than the point 2. Now we will move for the pressure volume. So here because of pressure remains constant we have to show volume is getting decreased. Now how to show the constant pressure. So pressure is on the vertical line. So for constant pressure we have to draw here as a horizontal line and decrease in volume so point 3 should have the less or lower volume than this point 2 so i will draw here this will be our point 3 and we have to show the arrow also in this process 2 to 3 there is the decrease in entropy so when the entropy is getting changed there is the heat is absorbed or rejected so for the decrease in entropy means heat is getting rejected so what is the amount that heat is getting rejected so this is the process at constant pressure so we can say that heat rejected that is q 2 to 3 is equal to cp that is the specific heat at constant pressure multiplied by the change in temperature that is t2 minus t3 because this is the process in between point 2 to 3 so this is the formula to find out the heat rejected now we will move for the next process so next process is isentropic expansion process so here the entropy remains constant and there is the expansion of the air so after coming out of this cooler the air is getting cool and here in the expander so here is the expander for this process 3 to 4 so before entering this expander we will say here the point 3 and after the expansion we will say here the point 4 so this is the process 3 to 4 so what is happening so here the entropy remains constant now what is the effect of expansion on this temperature volume and pressure so what is the meaning of expansion so expansion means pressure is getting decreased so we will say that pressure is getting decreased so what is the effect of pressure is getting decreased temperature will also getting decreased 
and as the pressure and temperature is getting decrease we have to say that volume will be getting increased so we have to show this volume that is increasing volume and isentropic process that means entropy remains constant so for the constant entropy we have to draw here a straight vertical line so we will draw here the first this ts diagram so tem Temperature we have to show decrease in temperature and entropy we have to show the constant entropy. So I will draw here the line with straight vertical line and here will be the point 4. That is this is the process 3 to 4. Now we will move for the pressure volume. So we have to show decrease in pressure and increase in volume. That means we have to select the point 4 in such a way that there will be the decrease in pressure. That means below this point 3 we have to select the point 4 but volume will be getting increased. So more than this point 3 we have to show the point 4 will have the more volume. So I will draw here the diagram. So here will be the point 4. So this is the process 3 to 4. So in this process if we observe entropy remains constant that means there is no any change in entropy that's why no heat is absorbed or rejected. Now we will move for the next process that is the constant pressure expansion. So let us first understand what is the effect of expansion. So when the air is expanded then what is happening pressure decreases temperature also decreases and volume will increase so i will write here decrease in pressure then temperature will also getting decrease and volume will be getting increased so this is the effect of expansion but here the condition is that pressure remains constant so when we put here the pressure constant then instead of decrease in temperature we have to show the increase in temperature. So here at constant pressure we have to show increase in temperature and increase in volume. So this process is important here. So how to show? So because of increase in temperature that means we have to show there is the heat addition process. And this expansion process is taking place here in refrigerator. So this is the process 4 to 1 that is before refrigerator we have to show here point 4 and after refrigerator here is the point 1. So when the temperature is getting increased we have to show for this expansion process there is the increase in entropy also. So here we have to show the entropy is also getting increased. Now we will draw first TS diagram. So for TS diagram we have to show increase in temperature and increase in entropy. That means in between this point 4 to 1, point 1 will have more temperature and more entropy. So I will join this 4 to 1. So this is the process and then we will move for this pressure volume so we have to show increase in volume but pressure remains constant so for constant pressure i will draw here the horizontal line so this is the process 4 to 1 so there is the change in entropy so because of change in entropy heat is getting absorbed because here the entropy is getting increased. So as entropy is getting increased heat is heat absorption process is taking place. So how to show this heat absorption process because this process 4 to 1 is at constant pressure we have to take here specific heat at constant pressure that is the Cp multiplied by the change in temperature. So change in temperature that is T1 minus T4 that we have to show. So this is the formula heat absorbed Q4 to 1 is equal to Cp T1 minus T4. Now we will move for the work done per kilogram of air. So what is the work done? That is work done is equal to heat rejected minus heat absorbed. So we have calculated here what is the heat rejected. So heat rejected is Cp T2 minus T3 divided by minus heat absorbed that is Cp T1 minus T4. So we have to put this value Cp T2 minus T3 minus Cp T1 minus 
फोर सो दिस इज द फॉर्म्यूला फॉर द वर्क डन पर किलोग्राम ऑफ एयर नाउ वी विल मूव फॉर द फॉर्म्यूला फॉर कोइफिशंट ऑफ परफॉर्मन्स सो व्हाट इज द कोइफिशंट ऑफ परफॉर्मन्स सो वी नो दैट हीट एप्स ऑफ बाय वर्क डन सो वर्क डन दैट वी हैव फाइव कैलकुलेटेड द फॉर्म्यूला एंड हीट एप्स ऑफ दैट इज इक्वल टू सी पी टी वन माइनस टी फोर डिवाइडेड बाय सी पी टी टू माइनस टी थ्री माइनस सी पी टी वन माइनस टी फोर सो इफ वी ऑब्जर्व दिस फॉर्म्यूला हियर सी पी we can take this common from the denominator and this cp cp is getting cancelled so what is the remaining formula so coefficient of performance in terms of temperature the formula is t1 minus t4 divided by t2 minus t3 minus t1 minus t4 so this is the formula so we can write this formula in the other form in the compression ratio and gamma so what is the formula that is 1 divided by rp raised to gamma minus 1 by gamma minus 1 so this is rp raised to this term that is gamma minus 1 by gamma so what is this rp that we can say that it is the compression or expansion ratio so here is the compression and expansion ratio so it is related to pressure so here p2 by p1 so if we observe here there is the increase in pressure so this is p2 by p1 or p3 by p4 so process 3 to 4 so there is the decrease in pressure so we have to take the either p2 by p1 and p3 by p4 so this is the this is equal to rp that we can calculate then when this compression and expansion process follows the law p v raised to n is equal to constant then we have to use this formula so what is the formula coefficient of performance is equal to cp that is the specific heat at constant pressure multiplied by if we observe t1 minus t4 so this is numerator t1 minus t4 divided by n by n minus 1 into r t2 minus t1 Minus T three minus T four, so this is the formula. And what is the R? So R we have to calculate by C P minus C V. That is the specific heat at constant pressure and specific heat at constant volume. That is C P minus C V, which is equal to R. And we can also calculate. R is equal to C V gamma minus one. So what is the gamma? So gamma is equal to C P by C V. So From this CP by from this ratio, we can calculate this gamma, and its value is one point four. And we can also calculate this coefficient of pressure in terms of n and in terms of gamma also. So, what is the formula here? T one minus T four divided by n by n minus one gamma minus one by gamma in the bracket T two minus T three minus T one minus T four. So, this is also the formula. so this formulas are important that means this is the final formula that is simplified formula this is also the final formula then here is the formula so this is the rp that is the pressure ratio so we can find this compression and expansion ratio by this and this is the value of r that we can calculate and here is the value of gamma that we can calculate so this 1 2 3 and 4 this four formulas are important to calculate the coefficient of pressure and these formulas are we can use to solve the problems related to this bell coleman cycle